Now we're going to take a look at a hip bump variation from the closed guard. This is again one of my number one sweeps taken straight from my game and I'm going to let you have a lot of success with it. The low hip bump. Alan's got posture inside my guard. Oh no, I can't sit up because it's pushing me back down. You know, I love the hip bump, but I can't come up for one reason or another. So, very easily, I'm just going to reach this hand underneath and I'm going to control at the sleeve on the back of the hip. You always control underneath the front arm and on the sleeve in the back. Important, okay? Now, with a normal hip bump, we would come, want to come all the way up to challenge our opponent. But, you're going to find as you progress in the jiu-jitsu ranks that how far you come up and how much you turn over is on a sliding scale. You can kind of fudge it a little bit. The important thing to remember here is you can't post on this side with this arm because we're going to be controlling it underneath. So instead of coming all the way up to challenge him, I'm only going to try and come up halfway. I need to come up far enough that I can turn my chest towards the floor. So I come here. It is not important to turn all the way over just yet, but if you can, awesome. Now, normally with a hip bump, when I bring my, my chest and my pelvis all the way up here to the chest, now I'm going to bring my thigh all the way up. Not my pelvis. My pelvis is going to stay nice and low. It's going to have a whipping type effect. You will feel almost when you do this right, like you're not doing anything, you're not doing anything, then bam, all of a sudden he falls over. And it'll feel the same way for the guy on top, all right? So I'm here, I'm up, I'm gonna turn my hips, I'm just gonna pop over. Guys, I know a lot of you have been following my YouTube channel and some of you are gonna look at this skeptically, but please try it before you pass judgment, guys. It's one of my highest percentage moves. I love this move. Let's look at it again from another angle. Now he's got that closed guard. I'm reaching underneath the top arm and controlling right here. I'm not, ah! I don't have to do that. All I gotta do is just lightly control it. Does this feel threatening, Alan? Nope. Awesome, all right? So now, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna turn. Look how I turn my chest away from my opponent. Now, instead of trying to come all the way up here to hip bump, I'm gonna turn my body away, I'm letting my legs extend, it comes up, and I take him over. Maintaining good control, now that I'm on top, I can let go and I can Superman, chest and face. Same angle, underneath, controlling, I'm gonna do it at full speed this time. Here, up, and over. Guys, it looks so easy. It is so easy, but it's really high percentage. Is it high percentage? High percentage. Ridiculously high percentage. All right, one more angle. Watch how my leg comes up, but my hips kind of stay low in that medium range. I'm reaching underneath the arm, super important, okay? Underneath the arm and lightly controlling. Ugh, I'm not pulling, just light control. Open up, hips up, and over. Notice I'm nice and low, maintaining good control. Once you get here, Whatever you want to do, I don't care.